let us look at the unifactor or the monofactor theory by alfred binet alfred binet was famous because he invented the first practical iq test or intelligence test and a variation of this test is still in use today it is called the binet simon test and he also introduced the concept of mental age that is a child who is chronologically 7 years old if that child is displaying mental abilities that are expected from a 10 year old then the mental age of the child is supposed to be 10 years the unifactor theory says that intelligence is one similar set of abilities which can be used in any field and can be used for solving any or every type of problem in the individual's environment but there is one problem with this theory that is even a common observation shows that uh, a person who is good in mathematics need not necessarily be good in biology and he may not be good in sports similarly a person who is very good in sports need not be good in biology or mathematics therefore if it intelligence was just one typical set of uh, abilities then a person should be equally good in all of this which doesn't happen in the real life therefore scientists have said that intelligence consists of various types or various types of abilities and it cannot be just one set of abilities therefore while binet's theory itself was disputed his concepts and ideas did lay the foundation for many of the theories that followed 